second quarter, Hetzel just told us you guys kind of took it upon yourselves to just lock it defensively. What what changed when you guys were down 21 in that second period? Uh, it's got more aggressive. I think the first quarter we were like too soft, not pressing up, not making them feel uncomfortable on offense. And with any good team, not having any pressure on offense, they'll be able to do pretty much whatever they want. So after we picked up our aggression on the defensive end, at the second quarter, kind of throughout the, the rest of the game, uh, you just saw the momentum change. This seems to be a trend with this team. You guys kind of a little soft in the beginning. Need and to fix it. <laughs> yeah. cardiac, yeah. cardiac finishes on yeah. this team. Yeah, yeah, no, we just got, a, got four, four quarters together. Um, if we were to take the second half and make it a first half, that'd be a complete game. So that's just something that we got to get better at. And, you know, we got more games to, to work in and show that. But just exciting to see, you know, what we can do, you know, when we are dialed in on that end. You see Noah and other guys just stepping up defensively like that. Just what does it do for just this group heading on, hey, we all got to dive in. Everyone's getting involved. You, Noah, everybody just fine. What does that do for just this team? Yeah, no, when Noah's blocking shots, jumping around the, the whole entire gym, like it turns everybody up defensively. Uh, we see a guy doing that, and that, it makes every single other guy want to match his energy, match his intensity. Um, and that's what happened. You know, it's like a trickling down effect. And, you know, like I said, the first game, having somebody back there that's just cleaning up everything, playing hard is gives confidence to us to want to guard. Despite the step back in three-point distance from college to the pros, you've shot at a much higher level since turning pro for a, much, for a long extended period. Just like, what do you attribute your development and your success in that area to since joining the Nets? Uh, just my time really being in Brooklyn. Everybody here is, is, is valuable on, on time and wanting to get better every single day. I can call anyone, no matter how early or late it is, to get in the gym. and. You know, same shots we shoot in a game, we're shooting in practice every single day. So I just value it to all the time we've been putting in this summer in Brooklyn and all the, all the help the coaches have been giving us on how to go out and execute it. We talked to Coach about just the fundamentals, discipline. You get 10 fouls, you only had two. And then uh, communication, how that helps, and it'll translate for your NBA season. Yeah. You know, 10 fouls is not realistic, obviously. And we struggled the last two games on just fouling and giving guys easy chances to get to the free throw line, giving them points and getting guys going. So just trying to be a little, more, a little bit more realistic today with our fouling and, you know, still in the back of your head knowing you have 10 fouls, so you may end up fouling, but just trying to clean it up as much as we can and, and execute as much as we can. And all things considered, is there something that maybe goes underappreciated about your summer league experience that's going to help you and that you've learned through these years? Um, probably just being able to do it again. I think it's fresh as a rookie, like you don't know really what to expect, but now this is my second year coming back, like, just fun. You get to see things. You get to experience, you know, having a chance to, to win it. I think that's everything that drives a guy, especially when it's our, some of our second time doing it. Tariq, obviously, just how are you guys at this point now that he's been through three games, how do you guys just try to keep him encouraged just to keep shooting? He has the confidence, obviously, but how do you guys just keep him uplifted not to let these, these missed shots get missed? That's all it is. Keep, keep, keep shooting, and when you miss, shoot again, and have the confidence that you know it's going to go in. You know, summer league is, is ups and downs, so we all know there's adversity, but his mindset is straight, his confidence is straight, and that's all you can ask out of a basketball player. There's times where this is not going to go in, but he picks it up defensively, picks it up being a great teammate, and that's what makes him a good basketball player. You know, it's not all about shots going in, because at the end of the day, there's a million other ways to impact winning. So he understands that, and it's, and it's good he does. I was going to ask about that steal he had when he came in the third quarter. I think that kind of showed that, right? Just that, is that kind of what you guys want to see? Like, hey, the shots not fall, be defensive like that? You know, especially as young players, like, we're not going to be able to come in and shoot 20, 30 shots. We're, we're going to come in and have to play hard, feed off other guys, and, and win off of other guys. And that's just a prime example of Dariq. You know, shots not going in. How can I find another way for us to win? And we won a game that we're down 19. I mean, come on. like that's Everybody has their own role at, at that specific time. And if you're missing shots, play defense and help the next guy who's making shots. That's are expected to have a little bit of a youth movement after the McHale like, trade. Do you have any you know, expectations for you know, how things could change a little bit for you next season? I'm just excited for any opportunity. Uh, I feel like it's a blessing to any of us that we all have this opportunity to play. Um, and people will have trust in us. You know, it's, it's, it's a great thing to have an organization who all has confidence in all of us to go out and, and play and, and to build into us. So I just think it's a great opportunity. Do you have any specific goals for your second year in the NBA? Uh, just compete, play hard, learn as much as I can. And, you know, game by game, hopefully just keep slowing down, slowing down. I feel like that first year is just so fast for rookies because we're just like, you know, we're in the NBA now, it's different. So hopefully the second year is just, you know, slow down and get to really learn the game more.